Andy, the real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Great site if you're thinking about buying a house anywhere in the next one day, six months, 12 months, 18 months. It's got on there the tools that you need, credit monitoring, budgeting, monitoring your bank and asset accounts. What's your property worth? It's got three really, really good valuation tools. It shows you Zillow also. And it also has about 97% of the properties listed for sale across the entire United States. RSRmoney.com. Why aren't home prices crashing? There have been a lot of shifts in the housing market recently. Mortgage rates rose dramatically last year, impacting many people's ability to buy a home. And after several years of rapid price appreciation, homes finally peaked last summer. These changes led to a rise in headlines saying prices would end up crashing. Even though we're no longer seeing the buyer frenzy that drove home values up during the pandemic, prices have been relatively flat at the national level. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist at the National Association of Realtors, doesn't expect that to change. And here's his quote. Home prices will be steady in most parts of the country with a minor change in the national median home price, unquote. You might think sellers would have to lower prices to attract buyers in today's market, and that's why that's part of why some may have been waiting for prices to come crashing down. But there's another factor at play, low inventory. And according to Yoon, that's limiting just how low prices will go. Quote, we simply don't have enough inventory. Will some markets see a price decline? Yes. But with the supply not being there, the repeat of a 30% price decline is highly, highly unlikely, unquote. As you can see, if you're watching us on ronsingerradio.tv, any of our socials or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, we've been at or near record in low inventory levels for a few months now. Yeah, a lot of long few months, right? I mean, if you watch, it's, it's bad as far as inventory amounts. The lack of available homes on the market is putting upward pressure on prices. Bankrate puts it like this, quote, This ongoing lack of inventory explains why many buyers still have little choice but to bid up prices and also indicates that the supply and demand equation simply won't allow a price crash in the near future, unquote. If more homes don't come on the market, a lack of supply will keep prices from crashing. And according to industry experts Rick Sharga, inventory is not likely to rise significantly this year, quote. I believe that we're likely to see low inventory continue to vex the housing market throughout 2023, unquote. Sellers are under no pressure to move since they have plenty of equity right now. That equity acts as a cushion for homeowners, lowering the chances of distressed sales like foreclosures and short sales. And with many homeowners locked into low mortgage rates, that equity cushion is not going anywhere soon. With so, um, so few homes available for sale, important to work with a trusted real estate agent who understands your local area and can navigate the current market. Remember, if you're thinking about buying a house and you want to get yesterday's interest rates, Go to rsrbuydown.com, rsrbuydown.com, and take a look at that, and you'll be able to see a way, a strategy that we've uh, shared many, many times on how to get the lower interest rates, even in today's market, rsrbuydown.com. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com.